Hello everyone, this will be a video of a Simplex 4050, not another 4051, not something else like that that may happen to be in the line that we may not even know about, but a 4050. Now, cosmetically on the outside it looks the same. You got your vibrator plate, you got your volume screw down here, and you got your same grill design. However, under the hood there's a few changes. So here's the back of the device. You may notice it's just a simple coil. Well, this is in fact an AC device. Now because the current is co constantly switching between positive and negative, well it may not work the, exactly that way, but that I'm just trying to explain in simple terms, every so often the plate might be getting pulled, the, uh, whenever the uh, current's going the right way, it might be getting pulled, and then every so often it might, might be getting pushed. Now the rapid succession of this will constantly pull and push the plate back and forth creating a vibration and creating the loud noise we all know and in this case it would be alerting us of a fire but that's pretty much it I could show you here's the 4051 to the, the left you got your positive and negative lead and you actually have a switching circuit I could explain about this some other time but yeah there you go and just to prove that this is in fact a 4050 there you go, 4050 right there, 1.8 amps, 6 volts, and here's how to tell if it's AC. Normally, if it was DC, it would just say DC here. However, this set indicates 60 hertz, typical AC current, so there you go. It's 60 hertz, it's AC. I'll just compare that with the label of this 4051. There you go, 4051. 0.1 amps, 24 volts, and then notice how it says DC here. So that's one way to tell. Now let's get to testing the device itself. I might have to disappoint you slightly, but I only have a 300 milliamp 6 volt AC transformer. This device takes 1.8 amps. So it's going to be a little bit underpowered. If I find a better transformer one of these days, I'll make another video of this thing. But besides all that, this is what I have for now. Let's just be happy that I have a 4050 being tested. So without further ado, here we go. Three, two, one. It might be a blessing that I have a slightly underpowered transformer. It's not that loud at all. If I had a transformer with the appropriate voltage, then this would sound a lot better. And for the pole station part of the test, I have a Simplex T-Bar. Actually, it's an ADT3403. I've probably shown this thing to you guys a million times before, but, you know, it's here. Now, I would have used my 4251-20, however, I decided to spice things up a bit. What if a pull station below, below the horn got replaced at some point? And it would probably be replaced with one of these things. Now, this is obviously assuming that the system, the horns are still original, so there's that. But anyways, this is kind of a cool setup I figured I would do, so there's that. Anyways, let's activate it. Three, two, one. And let's reset that. And let's do drill mode. So I hope you enjoyed this video of a 4050, at least what I'm trying to do with it. Anyways, that will be it. Thank you for watching.